What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. Before starting off, I want to let you guys know that I'm working on a project that a lot of you guys want me to do, and that is Loki's helmet DIY. I am still in the process of doing it, so hold on tight, and in no time that video will be out. So for now, in this video, we're gonna have another DIY build. And spoiler alert, if you are a fan of the Scarlet Witch, you're gonna love this build. Because today, we're gonna do the crown that Scarlet Witch uses, but not the one she uses on WandaVision. The one we're gonna do is a bit different. We're gonna be doing the one that Wanda will be using, hopefully, on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, as we obviously saw in the trailers. So without further ado, let's begin. To start off, I looked up Wanda's crown on Google and I found this one. And even though it's not the one I'm looking for, it has a similar outer shape as the one I'm doing, so it works for me and that's the one I used to trace it onto paper. Now you might be wondering, Jerry, why did you only drew half of the crown? To make it as symmetrical as possible, I only drew half of the mask and I folded it into the other half of the paper. After cutting out the drawing I made, I tried to measure it in my head and it was significantly smaller than I thought. So yeah, I made that mistake. <laughs> then what I did was I traced that same shape but this time into foam and I try to do it a little bit bigger. After cutting out the whole foam piece, this is how the crown looked and to be honest, I was really happy that it turned out really well. Not as symmetrical as I thought it was gonna be, but it's really good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace that same foam piece, but this time into cardboard. I know it's a lot of drawing and tracing and all of that, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. I would recommend a thin type of cardboard, not so thick. For example, I use this pizza box, so that works pretty well. I trace it into the cardboard, I cut it out, it looks like this. Once I have both of my cardboard and foam pieces cut it out, I pasted them together with silicone glue, with a lot of silicone glue. You can use hot glue, but my problem with hot glue in this specific situation is that it dries pretty quickly. And the difference with normal silicone is that that doesn't happen, so I'm able to paste everything at the same time. Pressed everything pretty well and nice and neat. Now this is how it looks once it's all pasted together. I think it looks pretty nice. What I'm doing in here is I'm bending the cardboard a little bit so the crown has this sort of curved shape. I tested it again and I think it's looking pretty good. So in here I started to do two different things. The first thing I did was I started to draw the shapes that the crown has. I did this based of my own perception of this image. I didn't use any templates, I really don't like templates, so it's not as precise as I would like. And the second thing I did was I traced the outline of every single shape with a pair of scissors. Now, if you're underage, ask for permission of someone old enough or someone old enough to do it for you because this may be dangerous. But what I did was I traced the outline of every shape just to know which shapes I'm gonna cut out at the end but to be honest it looks pretty cool even if i don't cut out the shapes i really didn't want it to cut out any pieces because the crown looked really good but it was part of the job so i had to do it started to cut out some pieces without separating them from the crown you're gonna see what i mean in just a moment So as you can see, I'm cutting out the pieces I traced with the scissors, but I am not separating the outlines from the actual crown, so I could then paste them, so the full shape of the crown remains in one piece. Now in here I made a small mistake because I cut out a piece that I should have not have cut out and this is what happened. But since I was gonna paste everything with glue at the end, it wasn't really a big deal, so that's a good thing. So 
so after cutting out all the pieces it was time to glue everything together. Now for this I did use hot glue so it could dry easily. Then as you can see I also added some of the pieces that I cut out and I pasted them into the side pieces just to form some details. That's obviously not part of the mask, I just think it looks pretty cool. And after that I added an elastic to the back of the crown. To get the elastic you only really need a face mask, that's the only thing you need. And that works perfectly. So I attached that to both sides of the crown and I secured it with some hot glue so that it wouldn't come out. Now as you can see I also added hot glue to all the back of the crown so that it has a little bit more flexibility and also for the sake of the pieces so that they don't fall out. So after letting it dry for a couple of minutes, I then went to test it out and I am just in love with how it looks and I think it looks really good. I am excited for the next step which is the final details and painting of the crown. So let's get right into it. After I spray painted the whole crown, this is how it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all liked it and enjoyed it. Comment below what would you like to see for the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And always remember, don't stop creating.